Hello, grades three to five friends. It's been so nice seeing everybody back at school and I'm so glad to be getting into everybody's classrooms for our chats about books and our research skills and taking a look at Destiny Discover and all those fun things. Keep up the great work with your reading and I'm gonna show you a few more books that you might be interested in checking out. The first one is a new series that I just got. It is called Peter and Ernesto. This is a graphic novel series. Um, this is number three, Sloths in the Night. This actually won the Silver Birch Express Award from last year. So kids all across Canada voted. And this was the one they figured was the best of the best. Um, you'll see typical graphic novel format. There's lots of adventures happening in here. These two sloths are hilarious. Peter is kind of a homebody. He doesn't like to go out. He likes to stay home, put his feet up. And Ernesto, his best friend, is very adventurous. He's the explorer of the two. So you can see how even though they're both really good friends and they're both sloths, their, their personalities are very different and conflicting at times, which leads to some excellent adventures. There are three in the Peter and Ernesto series so far. Next one I'm going to show you is a nonfiction book by Jen Sukhong Lee. It's called Finding Home, The Journey of Immigrants and Refugees. It is a really cool book. It's got so much information about refugees and why people become refugees and how people leave one country and come to another country. It's like I said, it's nonfiction. So it's got some images in here, some real photographs of real people. It also has some stories of real individuals and I marked two pages because I thought they were extra interesting for us. There's a whole section here on on Nyung N Tran Davies. She was a refugee from Vietnam and immigrated to Canada. I believe it was in the 1970s as a little girl and she then became a doctor and she's also an author. She has a couple of picture books out. Uh, her latest one we haven't got yet because it's brand new, but I'm going to get it any moment now. It's a really, really, really cool story. It's called The Doll. I hope you picked that one up. Uh, and the other person that you might recognize in here is Danny Ramadan. This is the section on Danny Ramadan, who was a Syrian refugee who now lives in Canada. He wrote a book from the Blue Spruce from last year. It was called um, Salma the Syrian Chef my favorite picture book of last year. So these are all true stories of real people who've immigrated to Canada. Uh, next one is Planet Omar. Yes, he's back for adventure number three. We have all three of them in the library. We also have a couple of them on Sora if you're interested in the eBooks. Um, as you probably know, Omar is a really funny character. He's going to school. He's all kinds of adventures with his friends. In this one, he's planning his first trip to Pakistan, which he's really, really, really excited about. And then he gets some really terrible news that before he comes back to school, he realizes his favorite teacher is not coming back to school and nobody will tell them why. So anyway, he kind of figures that it must be aliens. So obviously he has to rescue his teacher from the aliens. Anyway, Planet Omar, great chapter book series. Kind of looks like this. There's a couple little illustrations now and then, but mostly it is full of words, full of great stories. Last one. Yes, I've talked about this series before, but now we have all four in the series. It's about a little bat named... I think I can hear you saying it. Yes, it's Megabat. He's back. This is Megabat in the Not So Happy Birthday. Uh, Megabat, written by Anna Humphrey. I love this book. The characters are so funny. The way Megabat speaks is just hilarious. The author is absolutely brilliant. There's a few pictures every now and then, but mostly, again, this is another chapter book. You really have to read it. Um, Megabat has an owner slash best friend named Daniel. Um, they get in lots of adventures together. Megabat can be a little bit mm, strange sometimes, but he's a lovely character, and I really, really suggest you pick up Megabat. Again, I think we have a bunch of these on Sora. We also have paper copies coming to a classroom near you from a library book card. Friends, it's been a great first full week of school. I can't wait to come back and see you in your classrooms. Come and check out some books for me. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.